Hi everyone. Um, today I'll talk to you about, uh, the slides are not up yet, but today I'll talk to you about how uh, we're using very big data and artificial intelligence to solve some of the biggest world problems in uh, health in general. Um, so, oops. Can we get Nora's slides? <laughs> So just to, um, just to start, so basically um, the biggest problem facing humanity at the moment is a huge crisis in health, um, and I'll go back here, All right. a huge crisis in health. So there's a huge aging population, we're getting more and more diseases, um, global disease epidemics such as diabetes for example. Uh, we are a growing population in number, so our number is just rising. We're living longer and thus getting sick actually earlier. And that's a huge burden for both the individual and the governments. Uh, what's interesting, my background comes from pure maths, computer science, and actually life science. So I integrate a lot of these. But one of the interesting areas I worked in is peptides. Peptides are molecules that can actually modulate any disease in the human body. So if you think of a human, a human is just a bunch of interactions. Um, and basically a disease is one of those interactions not occurring that well. So peptides can modulate those. Peptides are small molecules that can be found in any organic matter. Um, they can modulate those uh, diseases. They can modulate inflammation. They can modulate diabetes by regulating glucose, etc. So the real, the real issue is, um, is that so far it has been very hard to identify these peptides uh, that can modulate disease. So one of the biggest areas I worked in and, and the biggest discovery for me was the realization that food, something that we eat every single day, has tremendous amounts of data within it, molecular data. So here, for example, I'm showing you an apple. In this one apple, there's more data than all social media put together since the inception of social media. So there's a lot of molecular data there. And within those molecules, there are subsets of molecules that can actually modulate human health. They can modulate a disease. It can regulate blood glucose for diabetics. It can actually modulate certain interactions to reduce certain cancers, et cetera. But the goal really here was that the identification of these molecules takes years and millions. And um, as you can see here, for example, this is traditional way of finding these types of molecules that can cure or prevent a disease from occurring. It takes about five to seven years, and the cost is very high, 35 million plus, sometimes hundreds of millions. And even when you spend all that money and time to identify these molecules that can prevent a disease or cure a disease, the chances of finding something at the end are very minimal, 0.1% chance. And the reason why we have these problems is the, is the data that exists in these foods. There's so much data that how can you find one molecule among the trillions and trillions in every, every, if you take one apple, if you take a, 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 some rice or peas, or how can you find the one that's going to do something in the human body? And that's where my own background came into it handy because now it's basically a, a, a data problem. There's a lot of data. How can we actually go down to the molecule or the peptide that's going to bind to a receptor in the human body and going to modulate certain disease? And this is where it, the introduction of big data and artificial intelligence is especially is important to analyze all these trillions of molecules and identify the ones that are going to be health benefiting for human. So what we do at Neurotas is that we have a technology um, that we built. Uh, it's based on a target, predict, and unlock. It's a technology that's based on artificial intelligence that can go into any organic matter. We're focused at the moment on food. That can look at trillions of, 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 uh, of um, peptides every single day and identify the subsets that have the highest likelihood of modulating a given disease. Um, and, and what we get at the end is, um, is a prediction on a computer. So we get the molecule that you see on your uh, right hand there, it's a peptide. We get a molecule with a likelihood saying that this molecule is gonna actually reduce or enhance glucose uptake and thus be good for diabetes, for example. Then what's interesting about what we do is then we take it into the lab. So this is on a computer. We then make it physical. We actually create the powder that contains this peptide. Um, and this is what we create. We create powders um, that can modulate certain diseases. The areas we are focused in or the diseases we're focusing at the moment are inflammation, which is core to all diseases, diabetes, muscle loss that comes with aging and our disease, and aging in general. And we're a B2B company, so what we do is license this ingredient to multinationals that then can add them to their own products. 
Um, so in the shelves, very um, you'll see coming through over the next few years, uh, yogurts with certain viral ingredients within that could modulate muscle loss are, are drugs that can actually cure uh, and, and reduce inflammation or cereal bars or face creams, etc., with our ingredient or active ingredient within. Um, so I'll give you an example of, of a true uh, example of how data can be so crucial in, in this area and how it helped us solve one of the biggest problems that we're solving it at the moment. So diabetes, for example, is about 1 billion people suffering from diabetes currently in the world. That's a huge number. That's diabetes and prediabetes. That's a lot of people. And certain areas is about one on three people. UK, one on three people over the age of 30 suffer from it. And what's interesting about diabetes is that unlike Caucasians, where diabetes is usually goes with weight, so if you're overweight, you probably will have diabetes, in China or Asia in general, it doesn't go with that. A lot of people are actually uh, thin but have prediabetes, and it's rampant in those areas as well. Um, so there's a huge problem there, and basically the reality um, of the problem or the, the causes of it is that the glucose that's in your blood doesn't go into your skeletal muscle, doesn't go into muscle anymore, and that's the reason why you get diabetes. So what we invented using artificial intelligence and the large data in food going through millions of foods, we identified a molecule, a peptide, it's a powder now, uh, that can actually regulate that, that glucose uptake. So it, it improves glucose uptake from, skeleton, from the blood into the muscle. Um, and this now, we're actually in, in clinical um, uh, with, this, with this peptide. And the goal over the next few years is to get a cereal bar that people would, could consume, pre-diabetics could consume every single day to prevent them from walking into diabetes. Um, am I... Am I late? Okay. Again, our mission is to improve the lives of billions of people, so diabetes is just one of the areas we're in, uh, and we do that through the predicted capability of bioactive peptides. But I want to just finish off on three things, uh, very simple things, on the learnings that I got developing uh, or creating this company initially, um, is that we can solve any problem with data, absolutely any problem, whether it's a health problem, an IT problem, anything can be solved with data. But the data is not the most important. It's actually defining the problem. You need to define a very clear problem, and the data is out there. There's a lot of data out there. Um, obviously, it's not standardized. You need to work with it. You need to get the right skills in, find the right people. But you will get to a point where you can solve any problem with that. And that's, that's really what I'm, my, my whole message is there. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Laura.